Hey, Devil Eagle, check out these apple seeds. Hmm? Whoa, it looks like they're dancing. Usually things sink or float, but they don't usually do both. Why do things float or sink? Last year, we made aluminum foil boats, and we noticed that the shape of the foil helped the boat to stay afloat in the water. Well, these apple seeds aren't shaped like a boat, but they are still floating. How does that work? Let's look at some things that float and sink and see what they have in common. I brought some things and I'm gonna experiment to see which ones float and which ones sink. You just put them in one at a time and see. Oh, the orange floats. Oh, the pine cone floats. How about our Lego guy? Oh, the Lego guy floats. How about this coin? Oh, the coin sinks. So I have four things that are about the same size. Let's test them and see which ones sink and which ones float. That'll make it easier to compare them. We got a bouncy ball that floats, marble that sinks, a rock that sinks, and this skull that floats. When I pick these up and compare them, I can tell this is very light, and this is light, and these two are heavy. So being light must help something float. But we have seen that some things that float are not light. It's not just being light, it's being light for your size. And we call this measure of how much stuff is packed into a space density. If an object is small and heavy, we say that it is dense, like this marble and this rock. If it is not very heavy for its size, if it is light for its size, then we say that it is not dense, like our ball in our skull here. Objects will float if they are less dense than whatever it is that they are in. So here we are comparing the density of these objects to the density of water. The ones that are more dense than water, that have more stuff packed into a space than water, are the ones that sink. The ones that are less dense than water, they don't have as much stuff packed in, float on top of the water. If an object's density is about the same as that of water, it might barely float or barely sink. You can kind of see that with this bouncy ball here. You can also see that with you. That's why you can sink in the bathtub, but swim in a swimming pool, because your density is very similar to that of water. What about these apple seeds? Let's observe. If we put our apple seed in the water, you can tell it sinks, but just barely. If they keep sinking and rising, it must be because of a change in their density. When we made our foil boats, we changed the density by changing the shape to include a lot of air. I'm gonna put my finger in this water here. And what do you notice? What starts to stick to my finger? Oh, I see some bubbles on there. Now bubbles are made of air, and air is lighter than water. You can try that for yourself if you get a chance to blow some bubbles in your water. All the bubbles will rise to the top because they are less dense than the water. In our jar, we can see bubbles are sticking to the apple seeds. Since the bubbles are lighter than the water, it makes the apple seeds float up to the top. When they get up to the top, the bubbles pop, and then there's no more bubbles sticking to the apple seeds. So the apple seeds sink back down. So now we know that this is not magic, it's just a change in density. Your assignment for today is to test 10 objects and see whether they sink or float. If you have some soda, you can do this in a jar and make dancing apple seeds yourself, or you can just get a bin of regular water and try out 10 things. If you want to make dancing apple seeds, you'll need some help from an adult. You're also going to need some kind of clear soda and a jar or glass or bottle and some apple seeds. It's easiest to get the apple seeds if you cut the apple like this, then you can just take them out of the middle. It might take a few minutes for them to get started, but soon the bubbles will attach to the seeds, making them float, and then the bubbles will pop, making them sink. This will last about 40 minutes. After you test 10 objects, write about what happened. You can use a chart or just write with words what happened to your 10 objects. Then share that with your class. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep observing.